Hello everybody and welcome to the Chicago White Sox offseason slash 2017 team overview. Basically what happened to your White Sox, what happened in the league, who's on the team, who's off, where are they, how they got there, standings, uh, opponents in the division, what do their rosters look like. Welcome to everything Chicago White Sox baseball, and we're going to kick things off with our starting five. It's very important because last year the White Sox, well, they only performed, I think, 32 games under 500. So, yeah, it definitely needs work. Let's take a look at the 2017 Chicago White Sox roster. As for now, it has Chris Sale, Carlos Rodon, Jose Quintana, Chris Beck, and Eric Johnson, who is new to the starting five. Our bullpen, Diego Rios, who we got as a rookie. Uh, he's happy to be here. We're happy to have him. He is our only long reliever, though. We do possibly need another one. Maybe Enrique Guerrero could go there. Who knows? Andy Romero, Enrique Guerrero, Tommy Conley will be our middle relievers. Nate Jones, Zach Duke, our setup, and David Robertson is still our closer. Hopefully we can do some a lot more this year. Our lineups, how have they changed? Well, not very, but there are some changes. Adam Eaton, Melky Cabrera, who's able to lead things off for us. Todd Frazier, Abasio Garcia, Brett Lowry, our middle of the order guys. So nothing changes there. And then we get to the bottom of the order. Carlos Delgado, we got him in the World 5 draft. We'll take a look at him. Daniel Fields, he's our new center fielder. We'll take a look at him. And Tyler Salandino is still batting nine. So two new guys on our bench with Mark Augustine, no Dion Navarro. He's gone. He's uh he's in Triple A. Manuel Peralta still our back up to first base. Jose Brady not going anywhere anytime soon. Carlos Sanchez is new. He came up in second base in the uh, roster in the call ups. And Steve Lombarduzzi is our backup second baseman. I he's a better one. But if you look at Carlos Sanchez. He can also play short, so we have more, uh, more variants or more opportunities to sub guys out, sit them, give them a break. That's what our big problem was last year. If we go to uh, no DH lineup, you see a couple things change. Uh, obviously, the pitcher and Daniel Fields goes out of the lineup. So now we'll take a look at the two new guys, Carlos Delgado. Got him in the Rule 5 draft, 27 years old. He's first base, 64 overall. He is our starter. Um, or he's a catcher. He can also play first base. Of course, he's our starter for Deonor Navarro. But 70 contact versus righties, 82 contact is still going up against lefties. He is a contact guy that's very nice to have. His fielding, arm strength, arm accuracy. Yes, it can use work, but we'll get to it when we get to it. Really nothing to go crazy about except he's happy to be here. Everyday starter. Uh, we're only offering him 80000 and that's because of the Rule 5 draft. He wanted 543000 but 80000 He's not happy about that. Everything else he seems fine, though. He wants to be healthy. He uh, really doesn't have any coaching, region, team performance. So that's good news. Team role. He just wants to play baseball, and that's what we're giving him the opportunity to do. The other new guy, Daniel Fields, uh, up-and-coming prospect for us, 26 years old. He can play left, he can play right, he is an outfielder. He's 66 overall, potential of a C. Yes, his batting needs some work, but really his mainstay is where his fielding's at. 16 on fielding, 73 durability, 58 arm strength, 80 arm accuracy, 72 reaction, 69 speed. That can be worked on. As you can see, he had some games in the minors for uh, uh, TOT. I don't, I want to say Toronto, but I don't know. He had three games, five at bats, two runs, three hits, no home runs. So he's played very, very minor, but he's still working on it. He's young, and we're going to, we're going to continue to work with him. Otherwise, that's about it. Obviously. Jose Breu, our number one guy in the rotation. He actually got AL MVP last year. He led the league in home runs with uh, 45, I believe. So let's see where he's at this year. Obviously, 
our ace in the starting lineup. 92 contact, 80 contact versus lefties, 85 power versus righties. He's definitely a righty kind of guy. 96 clutch, 93 durability. Of course, his fielding not where you're going to want to be at. He is a first baseman, though, after all, just like David Ortiz. And uh, you can't ask for much more than that. By the way, Ortiz and Ichiro Suzuki did go into the Hall of Fame. They got inducted, so congratulations to them. World Series news, the friendly confines of Wrigley lost to the Toronto Blue Jays in the 2016 World Series. So maybe a little prediction there. Don't know if Toronto will make it in real life, but the Cubs did. And they made it all the way this year, except they lost. When it tells the games, there are how many. So you'll have to use your imagination there. If you're a Toronto fan, probably 4 nothing win Cubs. You probably want to go 6 or 7 to get that good World Series feel. Otherwise, nothing really happened except the lineups. Uh, a lot of changes to the division as a whole. We're going to take a look at Cleveland. We're going to take a look at Detroit, Kansas City. Um, who else is there? Uh, there's someone else we're missing, and the Twins. So we'll look at those teams right now, just their lineups, because there were some big moves. And one of those involved the Royals and the Tigers. But we'll go over all of them. Cleveland. What do they have going for them? Francisco Lindor, Jason Kidness, Michael Brantley, Mitch Moreland, Jan Gomes, Richard Ross, Abraham Almonte, Robert Ryder, rookie, and Giovanni Urshila, Urshila, I don't know how to say that. Overall, their whole team looks like it should. Francisco Lindor and Michael Brantley, of course, leading the way. They have a very powerful lineup. We'll be scared of them in this coming season. Their bench, Caleb Joseph, Didi Gregorius, Jose Ramirez, and Alfredo Castro, a rookie. If we go to the Tigers, they have Lorenzo Cain from the Royals, Ian Kinsler, Miguel Cabrera, Justin Upton, Jared Sultan Malaki, Nick Castellanos, Anthony Ghost, Jose Iglesias, Cameron Maven, their bench, Walt Myers, James McCann, Ryan Flaherty, Alex Rios. We will touch on the Tigers pitching rotation because they did give up a very very solid piece of the rotation. They're number one in order to get Lorenzo Cain and a few others. We'll see that in a little bit. For the Royals, they get Hunter Pence from the Giants. Chris Cogman, Eric Cosmer, Brian Dozier, Salvador Perez, Alex Gordon, Mike Moustakis, Drew Stubbs, Alcides Escobar on the bench, Christian Colon, Clay Pryor, rookie, Dustin Coleman, and Gerard Dyson, or Gerard Dyson, however you want to say it. Twins, Eduardo Nunez, Danny Santana, J.D. Martinez, Miguel Sano, Joe Mallard, Trevor Plouffe, Eddie Rosario, Josh Rutledge, and the old-timer Kurt Suzuki on their bench. Byron Buxton, John Ryan Murphy, Omar Fonte, and Lomo Logan Morrison from the Tampa Bay Rays. If we go to pitcher rotation, we're about to see some things you probably don't want to see. Uh, Indians, Corey Kluber, Danny Salazar, Carlos Carrasco, Trevor Bauer, Cody Anderson, Tigers, they got rid of Justin Berlander, but they have Jordan Zimmerman in their number one. However, their bottom of the rotation could screw them up that this year because of that Verlander trade with the uh, Twins right there, as you see. We'll get to that in a second. Anibal Sanchez, Giovanni Gallardo, Daniel Norris, and Eric Alvarez rounds it out. Let's get to the Royals. Yordano Ventura, Mike Miner, Edison Volquez, Ian Kennedy, Chris Medlin. Twins get Verlander. They had to trade a uh, couple of things to get him, but they got him. Phil Hughes, Justin Verlander, Kyle Gibson, Irvin Santana, John Neese. Solid 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 could be worked on. And then more trades. The Angels went all out. I'm not going to go over every team. I thought I should go over this team, though. Jake Peavy, Hugh Darvish, Andrew Heaney, Tyler Skaggs, Hector Santiago, they could possibly win the AL West. Their starting five is nothing short of extraordinary. And uh, for the White Sox, well, it's going to be a fun year. One, two, three should be fine. Again, saying that should. Key word there. Four, five could use a word. Chris Beck, what's up and coming? He did pretty well. But Eric Johnson, being a newcomer in this rotation and in the division and in the MLB, we're not going to get mad at him. Unless he goes like 0-20. That's really the only way we're getting mad at him. But guys, that was the offseason recap. Let me know what your thoughts were. I know Mookie Betts got moved to, uh, I believe, the Rangers. 
and a couple of other guys. If you want to see that, let me know in the next video. But guys, my name has been James or JT Plays on YouTube. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later.